I was born on a cloud of musical notes hummed by my mother's agonizing labor. Caressed by the latex hands of a stranger, two brown eyes opened the feeble camera lens of life. The tape of the mind began to record the imminent memories of a human being. With time, the animal instincts within turned my juvenile mind loose into an inviting jungle of white, empty space. Crayons, camcorders, piano keys, all flushed together into that void of my mind, submerging a sheep-like mentality into obscurity and sputtering tetrachromatic colors on the kaleidoscope walls that surrounded me. Emotions became neck muscles shriveling out excruciating alphabetic conjunctions. My guitar became a paintbrush of sound, my heartstring harp resting on the cloud of middle-class family-loving comfort, slowly descending into an unseen hurricane below us all. Pain, a tulip with no petals, a sea with no water, a crow with no wings, to become half awake and half asleep, half lost and half found, half loved and half hated. I am a lonely garden, and I allow you all to plant seeds into my cold soil. If I may come across your frantic minds and you come along and water that seed, your existence will begin to grow inside me. Like that garden, I am also a lone wolf, who after walking many miles in hunger and with no one around, I eat myself. Fury is a ballet of cheap cigarettes, acid, and booze, a saliva shotgun covered mirror of self-loathe. Surfing in a wine glass, drowned by the waves of inebriation, my stomach churns my turtle shell brain to speak imprudence from my foolish rabbit mouth. Those remarks that sting like a suicidal scorpion, I am surrounded by the very fire I've spit. Fear rained down in the lake of my heart, and it began to flood. I must avoid these walking skeleton containing blobs of red jello that lie, steal, and kill. Anxiety, a clock that ticks backwards. My drug-induced body was like staring down a towering skyscraper, innocuous glass doll eyes moving downward like two cumbersome boulders, my brain sticking out like a damaged fruit. I lost the day, but I won the night. Love, a glorious form of cannibalistic tendencies to devour anxiously dry lips and compete to plant human seeds. One day, the seed is free to choose where it will stay, though, a flower miles from its only home will grow into a tree with different leaves. I look into a mirror and find a galaxy of emotions interconnected by nerves, veins, and blood. We are haunted by the fear of being simple. I close my eyes and listen to the celestial harmony within my mind, because there I can truly escape those thoughts.